yesterday just we started operators right yes okay so here what is operator what is operator hmm? it's a symbol which operator performs operation is, yes symbol which performs operation right yes okay so here now operator types so here this is the building blocks to build any condition in java so here operator types ha huh. arithmetic operators hmm relational operators relational operators logical operators logical operators ha huh. assignment operators assignment operators ternary operator ternary operators ternary operator and then ternary operators right so yesterday we will discuss these three right yes or no yes now arithmetic operators plus comma ah huh? minus comma star star comma by comma and modulus comes under arithmetic operators right so by you so we can perform the arithmetic operations basically so and then next one relational operators next one is relational operators so here less than ah uh, less than equal to greater than ah uh, greater than, than equal, equal to ah uh, equal to equal to double equal to and not equal to okay comes under relational operators sorry that's it and then next one is what logical operators so logical operators nothing but ha uh, and r r r and r. exclamation mark right comes under uh, logical operators okay any questions up to this <coughs> any questions no, sir. No, sir. no right so here before discussing remaining three this remaining three can you try some interview question okay hmm Yes. Okay. Yeah. Swapping two numbers with third variable. Now, what is the meaning of this one? Can anyone guess? What is the meaning of this one? Swapping of two numbers with third variable. What is the swapping? General meaning. Swapping. Uh, changing hmm? values. Sorry. Uh. But, uh, uh. means nothing but replacing swapping nothing but exchanging right i want yes. to exchange yeah, yeah. so here a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 just you can exchange exchange nothing but now a so a value is exchange to b b value exchange to a how to exchange for this take third variable right so i will take third variable so whatever a value contains move that value to temp now a is empty right yes or no yes and for a b value move to a value now b is empty and temp value move to b, b. so observe here ha huh. now what is the temp value what is the temp value 10, 10. 10. now a is empty right ha huh. so yeah. move b value to 20 value to a yes yeah, yeah. so now a is 20 ha huh. so here a and then zero. what is the temp temp value zero. Twenty. Temp value. Zero. Twenty. Zero. Temp value. Twenty. Temp value. Temp Zero. Value. No, yeah. no, it's saying ten. Ten. Ten, right? So whatever yes, temp ten. value is there, that is moved to a value. So this is clear. First one. This yes. is clear. Now second one is whatever b value is there, moved to a. Yes. Now b is empty. Now clear. Now Move b in b value into b. Whatever temp value. What is the temp value? Ten. Ten. 
ten. Now clear? Yes. Parshram. Yes. Sudhir, clear? Or can I explain again? Hmm? Hello. Initially, tempo value is zero. After this, I will I will assign a value to tempo value. Now temp is ten. Can I explain next or not required? No required. Yeah. Now I will write the program. So don't worry. Don't try to understand what is the class, what is the main method. Just assume what is variable, how to perform the operation. Okay. Driver. Public. Static. Wide. Main. String. Ox. Ah. Same. So here. N1 equal to 10, uh, int N2 is equal to 20. Up to this, any questions? Now, just uh, simply system dot out dot println. Uh, please observe here. Whatever. So this line is responsible to display some output to the end user. So here, before swapping. So here, what will happen? Can anyone guess? Whatever double quotes we can write, as it is, yeah. this is displayed to end user, right? Yes. Whatever yes. content available. If you want, I will show you. Now here, control S. Driver.java. And then all the files. So this is the high level language. We'll convert high level language into low level language. So here CMD, Java C, driver.java, and then run it. Yeah, any questions? Whatever content you can write as it is, that is coming, right? Yes. Yeah, super. Now, please observe here. Now I want to display the values before swapping. A, B, okay. So here, whatever A value is there, same display to end user. Whatever B value is there, display to end user. No. N1, N1, N2. Sorry? Oh, sorry. N1. Sorry. N1. N2. N2, N2. super. Yes, any questions? No. So mm -hmm. what is what is ten? What is twenty? Huh? Values but, of n one. Okay. So but you know you know n one value is ten, n two is twenty. Suppose mm -hmm. end user, end user, whenever end user see this output, end user how to know what is uh, ten, what is twenty? You don't know, right? Yes or no? Yes. So here, yes. here inside the double quotes, n one value. Can I give like this? So this is the string, right? Yes or no? Yes. 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 So this is your numeric value. So we will append your string into num. We will append our numeric value with a string by using plus symbol. Clear? Yes. So here. Okay. N two value. N two value. Plus. So for you want to give anything, so here, anything whatever you want inside the double quotes, print it di directly. So here we will append our numerics to strings, string by using plus symbol that is my, our motto observe now any questions no no now after swapping how to swap it what is the swapping logic uh, i will take one temporary variable uh, whatever a value is there move to temp now a is empty now a is empty move b value into a now sorry suresh it is n1 yes yes oh uh, n2 and n1 now n2 is empty move tempo value tempo value into n2 okay any questions okay. now no. same pre statements i will note down 
but this is not at all interview question but interviewer asked like this one minute yeah observe values are swapped or not swapped yes they are swapped swap clear guys yes so our target is understand this logic how to define the variable how to assign the value clear clear yes sir can i go next interview question yes sir no na not interested ah huh? no, so go. don't worry initial i will go very slow after 10 days 15 days you are able to write program your own way okay now next interview question so our syllabus is uh, de designed as per entry oriented ha huh? now swapping two numbers without using ha huh? without using third oh, variable third variable yeah yes guess can anyone guess so meaning is what exchanging a value n1 equal to uh so here don't use third variable previously we were using temp variable right third variable how many yeah. variables are involved here to swap the data three, how many three. variables are involved three three manasa three three so here don't use third variable please observe here int a is equal to 10 into b is equal to 90 so don't use temp without using temp how to swap it okay observe a equal to a plus b first submit sum of two numbers and assign to a value now what is the a value here uh, 100 100 100 clear yeah okay and subtract two numbers assign to b ah uh, so here b equal to what is the a value a value 10, 10. or 100 100 100 100 this is the updated value right take updated value clear yeah. 100 minus uh, what is the b value 90 equal to 10 10 clear yes otherwise if you want 100 minus 90 equal to 10 okay super now again subtract and assign to a that's it ha huh? a value what is the a value 100 10 100. or 100 100 100 value. yeah b value 90 or 10 10 super Uh, observe these two values are exchanged or not exchanged yes yes clear guys clear any questions up to this no okay no, clear sir. manasa sudhir parshuram clear right yeah clear yeah, yeah. clear sir super now please observe this is one more interview question so don't worry wherever interview questions are there i will cover it n1 first submit and assign to first variable and subtract it and assign to second variable again subtract it assign to second variable yeah so at least today onwards we'll start one simple program any questions hey, something is wrong here here in the last line you wrote n2 equals to n1 minus n2 yeah there. oh sorry yes observe any questions no suresh yeah okay so can i go one more entry question you can yeah so here first i will explain ternary operator then i will go for ha uh, interview question today i will discuss this one ha uh, ternary so general this is one more important interview question ternary operator is called as ha uh, conditional operator so here combination of question mark and colon 
question mark and colon is called as ternary operator what is this question mark and question mark and colon colon so how to write observe here so can i go syntax hello yes yeah sir yeah so here you can write expression so observe expression is nothing but condition expression question mark if condition is true condition is true block 1 get executed if condition is false block 2 get executed clear manasa clear ah yes suresh so this is expression is nothing but condition so here suppose expression expression is nothing but condition expression is true then block 1 get executed else ha huh? block 2 will get executed block 2 get executed general interview question will ask so you know how to check whether number is even or odd right yes okay i will give uh, so generally they will ask the interview question without using if else how to check whether number is even or odd okay so uh, that question i will cover at that time ha huh? now observe check number is even or odd ha huh? can anyone general what are the even numbers manasa 2 4 6 so any number any number ha huh? divisible by 2 then we will yes. get remainder zero that is called even yes sir no other than that that is called odd odd so here please observe suppose i have n1 is equal to 10 please observe here ha huh. n1 any number divisible by 2 okay equal to equal to 0 that is called even so here modulus nothing but what modulus is nothing but what reminder right reminder phi ja 2 phi ja 10 so what is the reminder 0 0 clear now so this is called percentile or modulus or reminder whenever we will give whenever we will use modulus operator then we will give reminder as 0 clear clear can you try hello yes yeah, yeah. yeah. please observe here what is the expression n1 modulus by 10 this is expression if condition is true simply will display double quotes ah uh, uh, suresh even num modulus 2 oh sorry sorry yeah if condition is true so so whatever content written inside the double quotes is displayed as it is to end user if condition is false then we will display odd All. number so finally we will capture what is message right yes or no yes Fi message that may be even number or odd number so we will we will def capture that message in one variable ha huh. variable is defined or not defined still defined huh? no defined not defined string date type is not there right you must and should put string so here yeah. this is it returns string manasa clear yes clear yeah so now system dot out dot print ln result any questions guys any tricky no 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 yeah please observe here now observe ah uh, read it read it int cannot be converted to boolean hmm. what the meaning of this one can anyone so we forget here one condition n1 modulus 2 equal to equal to 0 right yes. yes or no we'll check yes. that yes. one we forget to check that one ha ah. oh yaar observe yes even number or odd number even, even. okay suppose i will give 11 ha ah. what is the remainder 1 1 so explanation required or not required not required not required super good can i go one more example yeah so guys any difficult so no. all our interview questions don't worry so our syllabus is dedicated once you will attend my session you will directly attend the interviews okay one more ha huh. check number number is 
bigger or lesser among two numbers okay what is the meaning of this one i will give two numbers to you which number is bigger and which number is lesser clear yeah ah uh, using ternary operator can you try ah uh. yes. okay. in 10 one equal to 10 ah uh. okay you will take n2 is equal to some more anything is fine ah uh, how to compare n1 greater than n2 ah uh, what the meaning of this one this is the condition right condition the condition in yeah. this condition condition is true ah uh, n1 is bigger, bigger than n2 right condition is false ah uh, n1 n2, is lesser than ah uh, n2 bigger oh. or yeah anything right yes. bigger than n1 clear yes clear. yes and finally we will return this message this message so we will capture this message in one temporary variable ah uh, we will machine should define that variable by using data type here we will return string double quotes that's why we will capture that result in string data any questions no so any questions up to this no. so i will i will give one more can you try just to try if not i will explain okay so okay, here sir. check number is bigger or lesser among three numbers as of now i will take two numbers right now we will take three numbers any questions up to this no okay, no sir can you try this one if not i will explain okay okay yeah now i will go for assignment operator what is this assignment operator ha huh, this okay. is very simple very simple don't worry i will give shortcut general assignment nothing but what is assignment assigning the value to the particular variable right yes sir. okay so plus equal to so whatever assignment operators there please let me know ha ah. plus minus modulus mm. Mm. modulus right these are the assignment mm. operators yes or no yes so i will give for shortcut for you to remember after assignment operator give ha ah. equal symbol clear these five called assignment operators sorry any questions no no so suresh what is the exact meaning yes or no right yeah suresh yeah now observe equal to the how to deal so meaning is please observe int n1 equal to 10 ah uh, int n2 is equal to 90 so here n1 equal to n1 plus n2 what is the output what the n1 value what is the n1 value so 10 or 100 10 100 uh, sorry 100 100 100 100 right so here same thing please observe here like so this expression is fine or please observe what is the common variable here in n1. in this expression n1 huh? n1 n1 remove it and exchange this symbol that's it now what is the value Hundred only. Both are same. Now clear? Clear. Yeah. If you write, I'll write. Please observe here. So here, int n one is equal to ten. Int n two is equal to ninety. Now n one equal to n one plus n two. So now. System dot out dot println ah huh. so here I will give just some message n one what is the output what is the output uh, we need to define the some. okay huh? hundred no no hundred super 
100 no questions right so same okay. expression so i will comment it how to comment as of now observe this is the comment i will explain later okay so same expression i okay. note down like this also so re remove common variable and exchange symbol even though same clear yes gosh. yeah this is the shortcut any questions guys this is the assignment operators any questions no so again i will explain so here n1 equal to just i will write pseudo code n1 equal to n1 plus equal to n2 so huh, how to write this one n1 equal to n1, n1 plus n2, n2 right ha huh. n1 minus equal to n2 huh. n1 equals to n1 minus n2 n2 clear can you try remaining or can i explain remaining as well huh? we will try n1 equal to n2 n2 so any questions parshuram or sudhir or navin no right now yes, now this is very important this is unary operators are very important while implementing uh, loops or condition statements can i go now or any confuse up to this no no confusion yeah unary operators generally you so here plus plus and minus minus comes under uh, unary operators okay now can i go one by one yeah yeah plus plus nothing but uh, increment operator in call uh, in called as increment one minute uh. plus plus is called as increment operator so meaning is means uh, increase the one value variable value by one by default clear okay so whenever you can write plus plus means it will increase the value by one clear clear yeah next minus minus just i will give basic idea then i will go in depth pre pre increment later i will discuss minus minus huh? this is called decrement decrement operator decrease decrease the variable value by one. by one by default any questions up to this at no. least plus plus what is plus plus what is minus minus can i go little bit depth yeah yeah so here plus plus r increment okay. operator plus plus is divided into two types ah pre increment, pre -increment operator and post increment operator what is pre increment what is post increment now i am going to explain can i go yes yeah, yeah pre increment nothing but so here please observe here appending appending plus plus symbol for the before the variable he is called as pre increment operator any questions syntax is are able to follow yes. plus plus yes. variable name any questions no plus plus a like this increment operator like this okay you will mention variable name so what is the exact meaning what is the pre increment exact meaning ah huh. suppose pre increment nothing but first increase so here observe i will take one example then you can understand okay so here int n1 equal to 10 what is the n value 10 10, 10. plus plus n1 means first increase the variable value first increase the variable value why because this is a pre increment pre increment nothing but first increase the variable value huh? what is the variable value 11 11 and then assign the increased value to the same variable n1 this is the meaning okay so please observe first increase the variable value and assign 
increased value to the variable in case of pre increment clear this line clear guys yes. clear no na no it's clear yeah first increase the value and then increased value assigned to this n1 can you try yes yeah now observe plus plus n1 so here appending plus plus before the variable is called pre increment operator pre increment operator first increase the value and then assign increased value to the n1 now n1 value is 10 or 11 11, 11. super clear guys clear clear yeah i will take one more uh, one more now observe and answer it so i request if i request all of you so 10 days late also no problem for you 10 days or 15 days no problem so yeah. course duration increases any problem for you uh, no problem all of you no no problem no problem. no problem why because sometimes i will go very depth right at that it will take time right ha ah, now plus plus n2 so i i want to store this value in result yeah now one minute don't answer it ha ah, first observe this is pre increment or post increment pre increment super ha ah. so 10 plus 1 11 So yeah. what is the n1 value 11 11 what is the n2 value 21 21 21 plus 11 33 33 clear clear 20. yeah now i think so everyone clear what is pre increment operator yes. ha huh? yeah 32 okay so this is very important in loops that's why we'll take time to explain this one now can i go next one yes yeah, sir uh, what is next one uh ah, post, post increment ah uh, post increment appending the symbol plus plus symbol before the variable or after the variable after, after. after. super that is call post super now ha uh, variable ha uh, now so can anyone guess ha uh, what is the meaning of this one what is the meaning of this one now first ha uh, first assign the value to the uh, variable, to the variable and the then and then and then later point of time we don't know uh, at which time point of time va value get increases clear Please. so what so in this case first it will directly assign the value later we don't know next line maybe generally next line next line it will uh, increase the value okay observe here point of point of. sorry later point of two times oh. now observe exactly n1 plus plus ha huh. now what is the output 11 ha huh? why suresh you are telling first assigning the value and then increase the value yes or no yes first ha uh, in this expression suppose there is no expression only single variable involved at that time post operator pre increment and post increment similar similarly works okay yeah, clear we have to change the result yes anwar yes now observe oh. what is this ah uh, you are oh, not defining oh. okay 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 so if your expression contain single variable then pre increment and post increment sorry pre increment and post work post increment works similarly okay love yeah. and only clear now when we will get exactly difference 
so your expression involve more than one variable then you can identify the difference now observe can i go that one yes 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 yeah now observe now int n2 is equal to 20 okay now observe plus plus n1 uh, plus plus n1 plus n2 plus plus uh, captured the result in one variable uh, anyone what the output what the output 11 plus 21 equal to okay 30. observe now okay first one for plus plus n1 at the moment 11 huh and plus 20 32 32 why oh, sorry 30. <laughs> now you will get so this is the post increment even though you are printing even the year so your expression involved more than one variable post increment nothing but first assign the even though you will print System dot out dot print ln. Oh, what is the output? Please observe here. Previous example, your expression contains single variable. At that time, pre increment and post increment work similar. Now observe. Clear? Next line yeah. value increased. Please observe. After this evolution done, after this evolution done, then only n1 got 21. Clear? Okay. Clear? Are any questions? While expressing this this one, first assign the 10, 20 value directly to N2. And then 11 plus 20, 31. After next line. Sir, I have you on doubt. Yeah. Uh, plus plus um, N1 plus, it is in 1 plus plus N1. And Which plus one? N2 plus plus, it's not increase the value. Yes. It, so meaning is post, this is the post increment, right? This is the post increment. Post nothing but directly value assigned uh, to N2 value as 20. So 11 plus 20, 31. In the next line, next line, one value increased. First directly assigned to that variable. Later, later it increased the value. Clear? Okay. Clear, guys, everyone? No, no? Clear. No? Yeah, clear, Suresh. Yeah. So can, can you try this one? Minus, minus, same thing pre decrement and post decrement or can you try now itself uh, we will try and we will ask yeah okay okay so i know today is little bit confusing can you go through practice once okay in tomorrow okay. session i will explain again increment operator plus plus and minus minus this is very important in looping conditions okay